Yesterday we had the opportunity to review on the triple negative advanced breast cancer. As this is an unmet clinical need, it affects many young people and the efficacy in general of chemotherapeutic agents is not so high. Medium progression free survival and overall survival too short. That is why yesterday we tried to, to find the, tri the positive into the triple negative disease. First of all, we tried to redefine triple negative as this is a negative definition and it's not enough to find biomarkers to be offered to uh, the majority of our patients. By now, we just have two biomarkers that are ready to be used in the clinics. One is detecting BRCA mutations in the germline, but still Andrew Tooth had the opportunity to review on many other markers that could select patients who are candidates to PARP inhibitors and these drugs that targets HRT in general. Second biomarker is PDL1 as it detects patients who are able to be treated with immune therapies in combination with chemotherapy. But still, Dr. Bianchini had the opportunity to review on this selection of patients, new biomarkers and new approaches made from neoadjuvant trials and that could be applicable to advanced disease as well to take the best of our uh, diagnosis tools to offer new immune combinations uh, to patients. And finally, Dr. Arnedos had the opportunity to review on many other markers and maybe ADCs who are evolving the landscape of breast cancer in general, mainly sasituzumab govitecan, that's changed the prognosis of the majority of our triple negative breast cancer patients. So it was a really interesting symposium trying to find the positive into the triple negative disease.